Chloe, uh, I've got some uh, poker chips here. They are from the Lucky Deal Casino in Las Vegas. Um, that casino is now shut down. Um, and these are like souvenir poker chips that they sold off. Uh, but you could have used them at one point. And we've got a 10 here, a 20 and a 25. So it's hardly big money. This would be for a low stakes game. Um, but we're going to try something sort of interesting with them, alright? Um, what I want you to do is I want you to mix them up face down like this so that the values uh, you can't see. Uh, mix them up until no one knows the order, not me or you. And then uh, lay them out in a, in a row on the table. And I, I won't look uh, while you do this. Just um, Okay, so you've got all three... Uh, in front of you, uh, on on the on the table, yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So um, what I'd like you to do is um, to pick up any any one of them, any one of the three. Okay. And what I want you to do is to place that in your left pocket. Have you got you you've got pockets. Yeah. So you put that in your left pocket. All right. Now I want you to pick up uh, either one of the other two. Okay. And pop that one in your right pocket. And uh, take the last one and place it in your back pocket. Okay, so are they all gone? Yeah. And if I... So there's nothing on the table now, right? No. Okay, great. So, um, did you, you... You mixed them up, you didn't know the order. No. And so therefore you don't know which order you picked them up in. Now, what I'm going to try and do is sort of try and do a bit of uh, reading, right? I'm going to try and read your tales as though we're at a, a, a poker game. Mm -hmm. Where you try and uh, read. So it sort of ties in with the, with the poker chips, actually. Um, take whichever one you like out, again, I, I, you, you've got one in your right, one in your left, one in your back pocket, right? Take whichever one of those out that you like, you can do that now. Okay, and what I want you to do is just squeeze it tightly uh, like this, alright? Mm -hmm. And then I want you to take a tiny peek and I want you, so that no one else can see but you, and I want you to see uh, which value you've got, but don't say anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you now know the value of this chip, right? Okay, so here's what I'm going to uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. You just say you just say um, no to all three questions. All right. Is this the ten dollar chip? No. Is this the twenty dollar chip? No. Is this the twenty five dollar no. chip? Let me ask you that one more time. Is this the twenty five dollar chip? No. Uh, I think. That you were lying on that occasion, I think that that is the $25 chip, is that right? Yeah. It is? Can we see? Amazing. Now you see what I was doing, right? I was waiting you, you, you I was waiting until I detected a lie because obviously one of the statements, you keep saying no one of them's got to be a lie. Mm -hmm. um, so you can sort of appreciate how that might work. Um, how about the other two? Are you, are you sure what they might be? Have you any idea about no. the other two? You don't know no. the values of them? I don't know which one's which. So you, you, there's no way that you know that you put this one in your in your uh, pocket, whichever pocket you put it in, and you don't know the values of the other two, fair? That's right. However, if I told you that I had predicted ahead of time the position of all three, would that be? Yeah. That would be pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Look, see this little slip of paper in here. You can see it's the only the only one I have. I, I don't have like several little slips. This is the only one I have. I'm going to show you what it says. It says this, the $10 chip will be in your right pocket. Let's see if the $10 chip's in your right pocket. And you don't know if it is or not, right? But there it is. Uh, and the $20 will remain in the left pocket. Apart from, of course, the 25 which is the one is the last chip, the uh, $20 chip. 